everyone welcome back to my channel and welcome to my next video where i am back at home in the setting i kind of started this channel in it has literally been like nine months since i started this youtube which is absolutely crazy i have a bit of a different setup today normally i go by the window but my bed's kind of broken and i've had to move stuff around so i have come like forward in my room and i've got this new setup with my new ring light and i hope it's going to be okay i'm kind of just trialing it for this video also i just want to apologize for sounding really like blocked up and gross and i've had a really bad cold this last week and it just isn't going away um so that's just something i'm gonna have to deal with it is so good to be back filming and editing and uploading for you guys i'm back working hard on my channel especially around this like christmas time i have had a lot of free time just to focus on it and film some stuff and get it uploaded to you guys and my iMovie is finally working like I can't tell you how happy I am that I was able to get the isolation diary videos to you because they took a lot of time and they meant a lot to me so if you haven't checked them out check them out now and that was literally like three months ago now so it's so good to be filming again and actually providing you guys with content finally after promising for like the last nine months so i thought as it is the new year and people are going to start looking for unis and applying to unis and thinking about their future again soon a lot of people are going to be looking at applying to do children's nursing so i thought that i would finally address some of the recommendations you guys have given me for videos and one that you guys have requested quite a lot is a how to write your personal statement i'm going to try and keep it as short and brief as possible and just give you my top tips obviously everybody's personal statements are going to be different and i can't tell you what to write and what not to write this is just to kind of give you a bit of a guidance and a bit of inspiration to get started i guess so my first tip which i think is quite an obvious one is to plan your personal statement starting your personal statement is the hardest and whatever you start with probably won't be what you finish with but to plan your personal statement what you want to include what you don't want to include can really help you when structuring it it can really help clear it out in your head and just make it make sense if that makes sense and you will tend to find it a lot easier to write and maybe write it quicker than if you wasn't to plan it so when you're planning it is so important to do your research around the uni around the degree and around the profession of nursing in general do get a good understanding of what you're applying for my second tip is to talk a lot about the profession itself i'm not saying that you need to know every single thing about the degree and about the profession because that is what you go to uni to learn so you really want to maybe start the personal statement or just feed in as you go along things about the profession things about nursing skills nurses have things they do so the uni can really see that you've done your research and you know exactly what you're applying for for example i know that i started my personal statement with something along the lines of um pediatric nursing is a demanding but rewarding career which involves blah 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 so show off what you already know about nursing I big thing in nursing to include is the six c's i'm gonna try and list them off the top of my head so it's care compassion competence courage communication and commitment i think it is important to kind of feed these six concepts of nursing into your personal statement whether you address them directly or whether you just give examples of each of them in kind of an overall way my third tip is a really important one and it will kind of build the whole base of your personal statement it is to talk about your own personal experiences look at what you've done in your life leading up to this point of applying for a nursing degree which you've gained something from that you can then take into the degree that will then benefit you. For example, my experiences that I kind of built upon was my work experience. So I done a week at Headways, which was kind of a charity and a respite centre for people with neurological brain disorders. I very briefly talked about what I experienced on that week and then what I gained from it and what I took from it. And that's where you then feed in your care, your compassion, your communication and the six C's. And I built upon one experience in particular of doing the vital signs observations for a young girl. As a student nurse, you will learn it 
like the back of your hand by the end like doing obs is just a routine thing every single shift but when I was 16 it was something that I'd never done before so I took a lot from this little experience and I kind of fed it into my personal statement and talked about it talked about what I learned from it and then proved to them that kind of the skills that I had learned from it my tip number four then builds upon this and you want to get through in your personal statement why it is important to you what you're doing and what you want to get out of it so get through in your personal statement why you want to do nursing and why it means something to you sort of where you want to go with it don't just say I want to do paediatric nursing because I like working with kids say how you want to build upon a career in nursing and you want to offer care and compassion and again feed in the six C's in your personal statement you are telling the uni what you offer to them but also kind of bring in what you want to learn so a line in my personal statement i fully appreciate the wealth of skills knowledge and emotional support which nurses offer and demonstrate to patients and i look forward to developing my own skills in this area so that was kind of backing up that what I want to get from the degree too, not just what I want to give. Tip number five is to be yourself. And this is a very, very important point. At the end of the day, that is who the uni want to see. Be honest in your personal statement. When it gets to your interviews, they will ask you about your personal statement. They will want you to build upon this. And if you have lied or twisted the truth, then that is gonna be difficult to uphold. So do be honest. And this brings me on to tip number six, which is big yourself up. You want your application to stand out amongst the crowd and you want the uni to look at you and go, yeah, we wanna take you. So big yourself up. Don't be cocky, but be confident in your skills. Really highlight your strengths with the skills with the nursing, what you've learned from your work experiences and your past experience in life. Do focus a lot of your experiences on things that relate directly to nursing, but also look at other areas in your life which can help you go forward with this degree. Talk about your achievements that you made through school, through life. And also talk about your hobbies. So do really be yourself. Talk about what you enjoy, what you don't enjoy. Actually, don't talk about what you don't enjoy. That doesn't really matter. When I say talk about your hobbies, talk about other achievements, do just briefly brush upon them. A couple of sentences is enough because you are really limited in a personal statement to what you can write. I didn't just say, oh, I used to work in a restaurant. I used to do a paper round. I said, like, I teach young girls football. This gives me a great experience working and interacting with children. And I am really emphasising on how what I've done in my past and what I've put in my personal statement, how that helps me in the degree and going forward to be a nurse. So whatever you say in the personal statement with your nursing experiences, with your general experiences and your achievements and your hobbies and stuff, back it up with why that's important and how that's gonna help me move forward because that is so important and that is what the uni want to see and want to read. Tip number seven is to read it, read it and read it again. Get it checked. Have support there with you when writing your personal statement. Shout out to my head of sixth form. He helped us all write our personal statements. He gave us great support, great guidance. You need someone on the outside to look at your personal statement because they're not biased at all. Also, if you know anybody, talk to people who have applied for nursing school. Talk to people who have been there and done it. My DMs are always open if any of you guys are struggling with writing your personal statements, if you need a bit more support, guidance, or a bit of inspiration to get started. Just keep checking it before you apply. Don't rush it and just be happy with it before you submit it. At the end of the day, this is gonna determine whether you get offered an interview or not. And my final tip is to finish your personal statement with a bang as such. Finish your writing with a statement that will be memorable. My end statement kind of summarised my strengths and what I would bring to the degree. So I kind of said my strengths of good communication, organisation, compassion, again kind of linking in the six C's there, would suit me perfectly for uni and the nursing degree. I hope I would succeed to my best potential and learn and work towards a degree I will love and thrive in. So I feel like it's not too long a sentence, just literally summarising my whole personal statement. I am hoping them real quick top tips will help you guys 
when you come to write your personal statement and giving you a bit of extra guidance and support when doing it because it can be a tough thing to get started. One thing that I found really difficult when writing my personal statement was there is no structure. There is no, this is the perfect personal statement. So I thought that I would quickly just run through mine and I'm not gonna read it out to you guys because I don't wanna do that. But I thought that I would just talk about my st the structure of mine. So if you are a bit stuck, you could kind of use the structure to build upon it. Hopefully this structure will also kind of summarize my tips that I've said. So my first paragraph was my longest paragraph and this really just introduced what pediatric nursing was to me. I then kind of briefly brought in some of my experiences that I've had and what I've seen of pediatric nursing so far. I ended that paragraph with one key Key example of a patient interaction I had on one of my experiences and just said what I got from this. I then went on to talk about my education and what I study at A levels. I talked about my subjects and then what I took from these and how these can help me going forward. So for example, I said that I do sports science and this helps me a lot with knowing the anatomy of the body and can help me with my theory. So my third paragraph was my shortest paragraph and this kind of just covered other activities that I'd done in school and sort of my mentoring, my coaching and what I take from these. And then I built on from that on my next paragraph talking about my hobbies outside of school. I kind of talked about things that I thought that other people would find interesting. Again, whenever I mentioned a hobby or something that I did, I then backed up with why that was important and what I had gained from it. And then my final paragraph was a real brief conclusion. It's about 80 words of just kind of summarising the whole personal statement. In this paragraph, I really bigged myself up to make myself memorable. And then I talked about what it meant to me studying this degree. So that was kind of how I structured mine. By all means, do it differently everyone's personal statements are different and they're very individualized but I do just hope that this kind of video has given you guys a starting point so obviously feel free to message me or comment any other questions you have about writing personal statements for nursing schools it can be a daunting thing to start and to submit but do just be yourself big yourself up plan it Take all the tips that I've told you and hopefully you'll be all fine. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe as always and share this channel with anybody looking to go to uni this year, looking to study at UEA and in particular looking at doing children's nursing. I have just uploaded a really nice short video all about children's nursing at UEA that really kind of summarises the whole degree. So do check that out if you want to. Do follow my socials. I am probably most likely to reply a lot quicker and a lot better on there than I am in the comments just because I sometimes miss the comments. That is it for my top tips in this video. I do hope it has helped you guys even just a little bit. Do feel free to let me know any feedback that you guys have. But for now, I wish you all a happy new year and I will see you all in my next video. Bye.